tidy. So with about eight and a half days until Yukon Striker um, is open to a select few, so the first Rider auction, um, I thought what better way to go over what I had originally thought was going to be a part of Frontier Canada and kind of what I'm hoping. I'm using Dollywood footage because Dollywood is like the best representation as to what I really would love Frontier Canada to look like. But I know that's not really in Cedar Fair's budget. Um, Dollywood just has that extra oomph to it that I don't think I could ever really see at a Cedar Fair park. And that's not insulting Cedar Fair. It's just a whole nother level that they're not able to achieve as they build um, these large scale attractions over multiple properties. Um, so before uh, we were kind of discussing, you know, the coaster with a lot of rock work, it was going to have mining themed station with the bird noise at the top of the lift hill and some ponds and rivers and some theming in the queue line. That's ultimately what I thought this was going to look like, and over time from the drone footage we've learned, that's changed. We also just had a recent announcement from Canada's Wonderland, and we now know that Frontier Canada will house multiple buildings, so the mess hall, which is located underneath the helix of Yukon Striker, will be Asian cuisine, and it looks like you'll be able to walk inside of it. It looks like a pretty decent-sized building. It's not going to have seating inside it because it's not a big building. Um, and then you have your Coca-Cola Canadian treat type refresh building just across the path from it. Then you're going to have the merch store. You're going to have a little wagon cart um, by the sounds of it as well. And then you're going to have some sort of cafe. And I'm not exactly sure where that cafe is going to be located. I'm assuming the orbiter path, um, but uh, I have no idea yet. We'll have to wait and see from the drone footage where that's going to be located. So what I'm hoping I'd like to see is the mineshaft station. I still think that's going to be the case. It looks like it from the drone. Um, with elaborate theming, I think you're going to see very similar theming style to Copperhead Strikes. You're going to have a lot of it in the queue line or around it. Um, and I think uh, I would really like to see um, a lot of coal, like mine carts with coal. You maybe symbolize them moving in the station or something. Um, something symbolizing coal and uh, maybe mine carts or a conveyor belt. Something rivers and ponds with a mill. Uh, I think we'll see and hopefully like Dollywood water troughs running through Frontier Canada if it's done properly and that'll look absolutely stunning so I'm really hoping um, so for some water troughs we all know that there's a water tower for the sign I would like to see a water trough coming out of it I don't know if they built it properly to house water but have a water trough coming out maybe lead to a giant mill like you just saw here in the Dollywood footage um, I'd also love to see the Splashworks building uh, renovated I know that's not going to happen this year but down the road, I'd like to see the change rooms renovated into a more Canadian theme because right now it's kind of a little bit of an eyesore in that area. You know, you're walking down through this old Canadian area and then suddenly there's this more modern building right there in front of you. So I'd like to see that retrofitted. I know that um, in a previous interview in early 2018, they said that Splashworks was slowly going to be renovated to be more Canadian. So I could definitely see that happening down the road. Um, I'm really hoping for a mix of wood rocks and water so as you see here i think that this is that was shot was a perfect example of what i'd like to see at frontier canada i'd also really like to see the garbage bins in frontier canada themed to the olden style barrels i saw that at dollywood if you've been paying attention to the footage you'll see them um i'd really like to see that for frontier canada as well and i think with those minor details um even though it sounds very elaborate as i'm saying it the area would be really complete um, so I'm really excited. Again, we're down to about eight and a half days until you have your first rider's auction, until you guys get to see what Frontier Canada is going to look like. Um, and fingers crossed that it's done in time. I mean, it still looks like a pile of dirt for the drone. So it's a little nerve wracking. Um, but we've seen Cedar Fair like this before and they suddenly finish in one, two, three snap. So uh, who knows? I'm very excited. I want you guys to comment down below what you honestly think um, or you wish you'd like to see in Frontier Canada and surrounding Yukon Striker. Um, and uh, if you have any other uh, surprises that you would expect out of Frontier Canada that maybe no one else has mentioned, comment down below what you guys think. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to enjoy. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a good one. Bye.